of the most useful functions of the ornament in crime is the less musical references mode, which can accurately analyze oscillator frequency in hertz or clock tempo in beats per minute to the thousandth of a cycle, as well as check the calibration of your oscillator. References is simple and easy to use, or at least as simple and easy to use as any ornament in crime mode can be. We'll access references by long pressing the right encoder from the current mode menu, taking us back to the list of modes. Scroll to the bottom and you'll find references. I'll patch the output from the DPO next door to the trigger 4 input, the only input used in references mode. This works best with square or sawtooth waves, so I'll route the square wave out from the main oscillator on the DPO. You can monitor what's happening via one of the other oscillator outputs, just so we can hear what we're actually doing. Let's make sure we can see the input analysis on the screensaver by long pressing the up button. Now we should see the readout in the lower part of the screen indicating the oscillator rate. The results are extremely accurate, indicating the pitch in hertz to the third decimal place along with MIDI note, octave, and distance and cents above or below the semitone. Above, the screen displays voltages output from each of the channels, as well as transpose value. Let's use references to calibrate an oscillator. With the square wave from the DPO still routed to the trigger 4 input, I'll route output D to the 1 volt per octave input on the same oscillator. This creates a closed loop letting the ornament in crime know the frequency the DPO is playing, as it alters the DPO pitch input. I'll push the right encoder to enter the options. Here we can quickly transpose our pitch by octave or semitone by changing the root key. We can easily compare the frequency of one octave to that of another by enabling the next menu options, Mod Range Octave and Mod Rate. Normally the four channels output zero volts, reading the set pitch of the signal patched to trigger four. Mod Rate sets the number of seconds that the output will toggle between the current tuning and an octave above that tuning, set by the Mod Range Octave. I'll set the rate to four and the range to one. Every four seconds, we should hear the oscillator hop up an octave, then back down after another four seconds. We can check the screensaver view by long pressing the up button. I've set our original tuning to around 110 hertz. We should see the signal hop up to around 220 hertz. We can repeat this up three octaves and compare. The next octave should be 440, the next 880. If these numbers look off, we may need to check our oscillator for a calibration trim pot on the back of the module and adjust it slightly and check again. We can also try running the auto-tune function. Select auto-tune in the options menu and you should see two blocks appear. Use the left encoder to select the default calibration method and then use the right encoder to scroll to the second block. Press the up button to enter calibration mode. Make sure the oscillator is tuned somewhere between 50 and 200 hertz, and then press the down button to engage the process. Ornament and Crime will send the module through a nine volt, nine octave calibration procedure to see if the module is properly performing octaves to the one volt per octave system. If it has a hard time in the process, you probably need to look for that trim pot. This mode is also extremely handy for measuring your tempo in beats per minute. Since so many clock sources and even clock modules do not have a tempo display, we often have to approximate what might seem like the correct rate. Let's multiply a clock from Pulsar to trigger input 4. I'll view the channel D settings and scroll down to the notes BPM option. I'll push the right encoder to edit this option and switch to BPM. We also have to set the PPQN, or pulses per quarter note value, which sets the divisions of each quarter note that we're sending to trigger four. For instance, if our clock is playing at a 16th note pulsing rate, each quarter note is being divided into four, 
meaning we would want to set the PPQN to 4. Now we should see the BPM clearly displayed in the screensaver mode. What modes are you using in Ornament and Crime, and how? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. And don't forget to check out our new membership program at VoltageControlLab.com. And remember, patch smarter.